last time on Terradome X. Tink Jr. and Tink Sr. did some catching up as Tink Sr. wakened from his coma. Tink Sr. did not take a liking to the fact that his son injected him with the AP virus to keep him alive. As if things couldn't get worse for Tink Sr., he was also informed that everything he built in power and on Terradome was overthrown by the auto company and the Amy system. As Tink Sr. watched season 3 videos, Tink Jr. contacted an old friend Marcus Rose, who was still a member of Terradome. He and Marcus came up with a plan to steal an auto band so they can find the kidnapped Noah Cage. Unfortunately, Amy caught on to their plans as Tank Jr. interfered in the Terradome show, but luckily for Tank Jr. someone else interfered, causing static and dark images to appear on the Amy screen. The distraction and interference was enough for Tank Jr. to escape, but Marcus and others are still enslaved to the Terradome roster. There's the bell, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get started with this matchup. The Innovators of Violence, Marcus Wolf and Brian Walker on your right, taking on Noah Cage and Angus Adams on your left. Noah Cage in the ring right now with Marcus Wolf. He's just battling down, and now he's taunting at Wolf. Coming, hits him hard with that power slam. He's going to go for the pin. Just a one count. Just a one count there from Cage. He's going to toss Wolf across the ring. Oh, shoulder block right to the gut in the second one. Here we go. Tossing him all the way across the ring, bouncing off that. Look at this. Nice move there by Cage. One, two, and a kick out after two. These two men, Noah Cage, Angus Adams, they are here to stop innovators of violence from just wrecking havoc all over Terror Dome. They're here to keep the peace. Noah Cage wants to rid the roster of Terror Dome from evil and violence. Cage now into a headlock, wrenching that arm of Wolf. Look at this. Oh my God, what a, I mean, just picking a guy up right by his arm. That can't feel good at all for Wolf. Here comes Angus Adams. Just staring down Wolf. And Wolf gonna go right after him into a headlock. European uppercut. And Adams across the ring. And a punch to the face by Wolf. And a second one. His teammate right there, there we go. Brian Walker coming in now, kick to the stomach of Angus. And Angus going after Walker, but big insecurity right to the back of the head by Wolf, excuse me. Walker with the pin, one, two, and a two count, wow. So it looks like the tables have turned it somewhat. And just as I say that, Adams is just wailing away on Walker. Uh oh, look at this, into the corner, probably not the smartest move, you toss a man right into his own corner, Wolf, oh and a kick to the stomach to Wolf, nice neck breaker there, dropping the head right onto the knee, what a move there by Walker, that could really damage a guy's vision, his thinking, you start messing with the back of the neck area, into the corner goes Adams, look at this, Bringing him right back. Oh, knees to the back. And a kick to the stomach. Now another double team by the Innovators of Violence. And an insecurity by Walker. Oh, man. Look at look at Marcus Wolf punching. Just wailing away on the face. And he's going to roll him over and do it a second time. My gosh. He's telling him to get up. Into the headlock now. And an uppercut there to Adams. Adams is groggy. It doesn't stop him though. Kicks. Oh my gosh. Multiple kicks to the stomach followed up by a big boot. And Adams taunting to the crowd. May not be the smartest thing when you've got the innovators of violence in the ring with you. Drop down is Adams. A second drop down. Look at that. What a spinning neck breaker. Nice move there. And now look, Adams just hovering over Mark, uh, Marcus Wolf. Oh, look at him. Look at this nonsense. 
Is this time to dance when you've got the innovators of violence in the ring? I don't think so. It lands though, he hits him hard across the chest. He doesn't go for the pin, surprisingly. And just dancing in the face. Nice snapmare, working on the neck. He's put that knee right in the middle of his back. He's gonna start cranking away, pulling the head backwards. With the pressure on his back and the pulling of the head. Oh, he gets out of it. He gets out of it there into the headlock now. Big body slam by Wolf off the ropes into a running leg drop. Very nice move there. And a knee to the face. Oh, man. He is going right after Adams here. Into the headlock again. Tossing him up against the ropes. Oh. Oh, man. Look at this. Oh, kick to the stomach. Oh, wow. Walker with a huge knee to the face. One, two, and a kick out. Wow. These guys are really working that tag team mentality. Here comes another double team. Oh, maybe not. Oh. Oh, man. That is a great sequence of moves right there. One, two, and Noah Cage breaks it up. Bouncing off the ropes. Goes Walker. Oh, it stopped in a clothesline to the back of the head. I would much rather take a clothesline straight to the chest than into the back of the head, that's for sure. Knee to the face by Adams. He's dancing again right into the face of his opponent, and he gets a spinning kick to the chest for his efforts there. Oh, boy. Look at this. Big double underhook backbreaker there. Oh, man. Oh, 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 no. They're taking off the turnbuckles on their side of the ring here. This cannot be good for Adams, or anybody for that matter, right into that exposed turnbuckle. Oh, face first, right into that steel ring. Oh, man, bouncing off the ropes into a drop kick. Innovators of violence really have control over this matchup. And he goes for the pin here. One, two, and broken up again. Cage really needs to get into this matchup if he wants to help his partner. Oh, there goes, oh my gosh. Adams with a drop kick after he just kicked Wolf off the side of the, the apron there. Into the corner now. And finally we see Noah Cage coming in, snapmare. Oh gosh, oh my goodness. First he gets flipped and then he gets kicked in the back. There we go. Oh, diving headbutt by Cage and he's going for the pin. One, two, nobody comes in. Wolf has the uh, confidence in Walker that he could kick out. Cage now with the arm. Crank here, we saw this earlier. Picking him up by his arm, flipping him over onto the mat. Uh oh. Oh boy, what's this? Big knee to the face. He's gonna go for the pin off the knee. And a kick out again after two, my goodness. These two teams are going at it. Innovators of violence, if I'm looking out from the outside in, looks to have the upper hand as Noah Cage hasn't been able to be a part of this match very much, but as I'm saying it, look at that. Grabbing him by the arm, flipping him over in like a power slam type move. Just a two count though. Into the corner now goes Walker. And here comes Angus Adams, throwing him off the ropes. Up and over he goes, wow. Cage staring at him, oh boy. Working the knee as he steps out of the ring. Gets one last shot in. Here comes Adams. Dancing around, oh, and a big leg drop right across the throat of Brian Walker. And a knee, or a fist, fist punch it looked like. Picking up Walker now. Into that exposed ring, oh! And Adams again, tossing him all the way across the ring. Big bump. Flipping over Walker now. Squeezing that head. Oh, what a move there. Cage comes in. Nice 
jumping elbow there from the apron. Look at this. Oh boy. No cage. Climbing way, way up. Walking that top rope and a big forearm to the back of Walker. Now Brian Walker's getting called up. Noah Cage, kick to the stomach now. Putting those hands together for a prayer. Hitting him hard with that crucifix powerbomb. Going for the pin. One, two, three. Oh man. It looked like Wolf was trying to get a sneak attack there on Noah Cage. And he gets sent out of the ring. Noah Cage celebrates his win in the ring over Innovators of Violence. The bell has rung, and it looks like Angus Adams is going to start this match off against Brian Walker. we got Dwayne Martin, the third member of Innovator of Violence, out there on the, on the outside. And Walker really pulling down on the arm. Jerking on that shoulder of Adams. That puts a lot of pressure and a lot of pain on your elbow and on your shoulder. And just like that, he slammed down. And look at Walker here. Bending that arm backwards. My gosh. Here we go. Walker now with a headlock. As, du as Dwayne Martin gets on top or gets on the ring. Oh, nice duck under move by Adams. And he gets slammed down with that nice spinning neckbreaker type move and a second one to Walker my gosh he is dancing in the ring off the ropes into a huge spine buster man Walker really getting the screws put to him now punch to the face a second right and he's gonna wind it up and punch him hard right in the chin and he goes down Gosh, Walker just blasting him. Oh boy, this can't be good. Into the corner. Here comes Marcus Wolf. Knees to the back. We've seen that before. And now they're going to double team Adams. Oh man. Adams, you need to tag in your partner, my friend. Oh, and an insecurity there by Walker. Oh my gosh. Going for the pin, does, does Wolf. One, two, nope. Wolf, Wolf was not able to hold him down. Punch to the face. Oh, it looked like he was tossing him into the corner, maybe trying to get Cage in there. But no, he brings him back for a big kick. And a second one right across the chest, my gosh. Oh, I thought he was going for it again, but a nice belly to belly. And he is dancing to the crowd, but here comes Wolf with a clothesline to the back of the head. And now there's punches after punch. That's open fist, ref. Come on. He's got to open that hand up. Nice European uppercut, though. And a second one. Oh, my goodness. Wolf really putting it to Adams now. Big knee to the face. Stumbling back. And, oh, man. Oh, man. All the power in that right hand. And now he's going to go punching again. Ref, he's got to open that hand. Come on. Uh-oh. Adam's jumping up. Oh, no. He gets punched in the face a second time, but it doesn't look to be affecting him. Wolf doesn't know what to do. Oh, boy. It's blocked. Right hand. Second. Off the ropes. Into a big boot. Adams bouncing off the ropes. Big leg drop right across the chest. Uh, well, oh, he's going again. Oh, boy. Another leg drop right across the throat that time. And Adams is pumped up. He is pumped. Cage still hasn't been in this matchup yet. And in the corner now goes Wolf. Forearm to the back. Oh, man. Adams just... He is pumped up. He is fired up right now. The second rope. Big drop kick to the chest. Does he go for the pin? No. Elbow drop right across the chest there by Adams. Going for the pin now. One, two, and a two count. Wow. Nice resiliency there by Wolf. Just as I say that, he hits him with that electric chair. 
and a two count. Adams kicks out. Oh man, Wolf very wise. Smart move there by Wolf, getting him in the corner. Here comes Brian Walker. Wolf holds him in a kick to the stomach by Walker. They're gonna double team this guy. Cage not able to get into this matchup yet. Big Russian leg sweep there by Walker. Oh my gosh. The Innovators of Violence really showing what they mean as they just destroy Angus Adams in the, in the ring there. Dwayne Martin doing his part though, staying unobjective. Oh! Into the corner goes Adams. Oh, we saw this last time. Walker removing that turnbuckle pad. He's gonna throw Adams all the way across the ring with force. And again, we saw this last time as well. Grabbing the arms just over and over and over, head first into that steel ring. And a drop kick there to Adams. Cage really needs to get into this matchup. One, two, and a kick out. Cage there to help out his partner, but it looks like he's had enough. It looks like Cage's had enough. He's not getting into this match. And it looks like the innovators of violence are happy about that. Walker getting out of the ring. Wolf to, oh no. He's got the chair. Walker handing it over to Wolf. He's gonna blast Adams with it. Oh no. Oh, Cage is back. Kick to the stomach now. Innovators Violence out of the ring. That is a true, true partner right there, folks. Hello? I hope that was worth it. Ah! Everything all right, Marcus? No, everything is not all right. I'm in the hospital. I have bruised ribs, a broken finger, and my shoulder was dislocated. I'm, I'm so sorry, Marcus. Uh, sorry doesn't make up for this pain. I don't even know what happened to Jay Wolf, let alone Jesse was already hurt. You just make sure you find our cage. Avenge us. Which part you up to, Pop? Still catching up? Yeah, I'm watching uh, Noah Cage and Davis. They're going against Jesse and Jay. Stay of emergency for the titles. Come watch it with me, son. Bell has rung and welcome to State of Emergency, ladies and gentlemen. Noah Cage and Angus Adams getting a title shot at the Power Tag Team Championships against Jay Wolf and Jesse Newman. Jesse on the outside in the red shorts, Jay Wolf in the inside in the white trunks. Noah Cage in the ring, Angus Adams on the apron. Now, Noah Cage didn't get into the matchup at Terror Dome 53 and was seemed to be upset about that. So he was going, he left the ring. He left Angus Adams to fend for himself. Just a one count there. But after the Innovators of Violence tried to take it up a step with a steel chair, Noah Cage came back defending Angus Adams. And that's how we went off the air, folks, with Noah Cage standing over Adams after he saved him from the Innovators of Violence. But here a state of emergency, Noah Cage sending Wolf into the corner, picking him up into a power slam one, two, 
Just a two count. Noah Cage and Angus Adams getting a title shot, as I said, for those power tag team championships. Look at this move by Cage. Picking him up right by the arm and down goes Wolf. And a pin. Just a two count. Will we see Noah Cage put the pass behind him and face off against Jesse Newman and Jay Wolf and win these tag team championships as a team with Angus Adams? Or will we see will we see Noah Cage hold it all in and try to battle him out himself? We'll see here tonight though. Into the corner goes Jay Wolf. And a nice shoulder block there. And as I just said it, he tags in his partner. And what a move there by Adams. Big shot to the gut. And we know how Adams likes to pander to the crowd. That could, could possibly be his undoing if he does it too much. Wolf, big, big gorilla press slam as Adams bounced off the ropes there. And they stare at each other. Wolf now with the headlock. He's gonna put Adams into the corner and a big chop. That could be heard up to the second level. Oh my gosh, I'm sure the people out in the street heard that one. He winded up really far to hit him across the chest with that chop. Just a one count there. And here we go. Adams pulls him back in a huge kick right to the chest of Jay Wolf. My gosh. He's getting, he's getting up now. Adams tossing him into the corner. Oh, boy. He's backing up. What's he got in store? He's chopping right in the face of Jay Wolf, and he gets a punch. Oh, my gosh. This is why you don't pander to the crowd. You don't agitate your opponents. Into the corner goes Adams. And here we go. Here comes Jesse. Picked him up. Drops Jesse right across the chest. Jesse getting into this matchup for the first time here at State of Emergency. Going for the pin. One, two, and a two count there. My goodness. Uh, to a headlock. Oh my gosh, big knee by Jesse. It looks like he's going to be thrown off the ropes. Drops down to Adams. A second drop down. Oh, and they just smash into each other, and Adams comes back with a huge clothesline. He's, he's trying to get Jesse to bring it. He's trying to get Jesse to bring it on. He goes to Jesse anyway. Drops down. Look at that spinning neck breaker. That float over neck breaker type move there by Adams. Into the headlock. Dropping him down there with a neck breaker. Since Adams has been in this matchup, Noah Cage. Oh. I was gonna say Noah Cage hasn't come in, but here we go. Bouncing off the ropes, big knee, or excuse me, boot right to the face. Elbow drop to the chest of one half of the tag team champions. One, two, and Jay Wolf comes in and breaks up the pin. Kick to the stomach now, followed by a handful of punches. Headlock now, uh-oh. It looked like he was going for that top rope forearm, but no, he picks him up and spins him down right into the center of the ring. Going for the pin again. One, two, and Wolf breaks it up again. And Noah Cage doesn't seem to be bothered by it at all. Big clothesline there. Wow. Noah Cage, that was a monstrous clothesline. Short arm, just pulling him with the force and dropping him down. What's Cage doing here? Oh, turnbuckle clothesline. He just flatlined Jesse Newman. One, two, and Wolf once again breaking up the pin. Here comes Noah Cage bringing him right back into like a judo style toss. Bringing in Angus Adams. So it looks to me like Noah Cage is putting the pass behind him. And he's just going to try to do what he has to do as a teammate to win these power championships and Angus Adams gets a kick right to the back of the head followed up by a few to the face my goodness kicks over and over now into the headlock 
Newman with a big knee and a kick to the stomach, knocking Angus right to the mat. Going for a pin. One, two. No cage breaks up the pin, saving his partner and saving the opportunity for those tag team championships. Into the corner now, here comes Jay Wolf. Bringing him back, knees to the back. And it looks like they're gonna double team Angus Adams, kick to the stomach. Whoa, oh, driving. That was a pretty pretty innovative move there from, the, uh, from Jesse Newman and Jay Wolf. Going for the pin. One, two, no, broken up by Cage. Cage needs to get into this matchup though and help out his partner. His partner needs to come over, get the tag, get some rest for just a few minutes and let Noah Cage take over. Adam sending Wolf into the corner. Punch to the face. A second punch to the face, my goodness. Here we go. Hard across the ring, bouncing off. Uh-oh. Oh, oh and, just, and look at Angus Adams. Noah Cage wanting the tag over there. But Adams not either doesn't see it or is completely ignoring him. Look at this move here by Wolf. Dropping him hard onto his chest. Oh, man, and then just those closed fists right across the face. If Noah Cage doesn't get into this matchup soon, this could be it. Going for the pin. And just not even a one count before Cage breaks it up. Oh, he has he has completely Oh boy. Look at Jess or Jay, excuse me. What a move there by Wolf to Adams. Man. He's picking up Adams now. Just throwing him like a rag doll. He's picking up Adams, not tagging in Noah Cage. This might end up being bad for him and for his team. And now, Jay Wolf just stalking the lifeless body of Angus Adams. And into the corner he goes. Noah Cage has got to be fed up with this. Picking him up. Look at this move. Look at this. A reverse Death Valley right onto his stomach. And he's going to turn him over. Je Jesse with that huge elbow drop, it looked like. One, two, three, and that's it. No one in this loss. Something tells me they'll bounce back, though. No one has a way of making people around him better. Kind of like that, um, that spiritual guidance. I remember our journeys for me. When I was trying to recruit him and everything, he wanted he wanted me to help him save some lives. We went to his orphanage. This orphanage in um, Mexico it was. Yeah, one time we went to New Mexico. Uh, there was this kid who had been bullied all over and over. I mean, was just really chump. He was on the verge of becoming probably a very distrustful person. I mean, uh, with good prayer and good faith, led him to a better life. Thanks to Noah. I remember those days. Noah had been brought into this world without parents either. He saved that kid. Desmond Ellerton, that was his name. What exactly did Noah tell Desmond, Pop? Huh? Noah, what did he tell Desmond to save the kid's life? Who's Desmond? You were just telling me about a kid named Desmond. Remember you and Noah had saved a kid in that Mexico named Desmond? You sound stupid. I don't remember no Desmond. Now shh, I'm watching State of Emergency. Y'all want it? Well, we on two. The sky's the limit. Don't tell me what we gon' do. The world is in the world. Cause I'm with my crew. We gon' skip right through. And live it like our last night. Getting right tonight for I'm so young. Stay winning, not a loss, don't come And I'm with G, and I'm with F9 Plus I'm with Young, yeah, we all on one Name buzzing, so the women wanna act right Known for my rhyming, now I'm shining like a flashlight Keep swerving lanes, man, we living in a fast life Do it like your last night, that's life John 1, well, we on 
to yeah. Sky's the limit, gon' tell me what we gon' do yeah. We represent the world, cause I'm with my crew We gon' skip right through, and live it like our last night, night. We gon' live it like our last night, night We gon' live it like our last night What we gon' do, we gon' skip right through Get it. Live it like our last night Rax on, no rax off We just tryna party to the last call Throwing money in the club like a fastball Said if you ain't getting money, get your here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Phoenix is your power card champion. He just gets drop kicked by Ian Steele. Now Phoenix, holding that power card champion, he's put out an open challenge. Now we know Phoenix put Bowtie Bandit on Teradome 51 with a concussion. And then at 52, as you can see, Ivan Steele is pretty bandaged up. He's got bruised ribs. But here at State of Emergency, Ivan Steele is gonna do what he has to do to get that power core championship away from Phoenix by answering this open challenge. Oh my, oh my gosh. Floating over, spinning neck breaker by Phoenix. Now folks, this is not just any matchup. Look at this. Oh, it looked like, it looked like Ivan Steele was gonna have, his, have a little advantage there. Phoenix dumps him on his head though. Oh boy, we've seen this before. As I was saying, this is not a regular matchup. This is a first blood matchup. Oh man, what a kick to the face. Flipping over, landing hard. Right on Ivan Steele on the outside. And a kick to the face. Phoenix has been totally dominating the power core division, if that's a thing. And he has just been putting people out left and right. Look at that. Showing off. He looks to be in physical peak condition. Kick to the face. Back into the ring now. Ivan Steele a lot smaller than Phoenix. He's going to have to use his speed. Oh boy. Just as I said that, he shows us his strength and slams Phoenix down with a power bomb. Oh, jumps off the top rope, just missing. Landing hard on those ribs. And that's not gonna do him any favors, that's for sure. On the outside goes Phoenix. Oh man, big body splash there. Phoenix with a chair, pulling it out right across the chest. That's already wrapped up, oh man. He is showing no mercy to Ivan Steele here at State of Emergency. Oh, oh boy. Oh, and a drop kick right to the shoulder. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it looked like, it looked like he, Ivan Steele was gonna get another power bomb out of that, but no. We see the Phoenix follow up with a nice moonsault. Kick to the chest, and another, oh gosh. Ivan Steele looks to be out of his depth here. Big diving headbutt from Phoenix. Phoenix from behind, spinning him around, wrenching that arm that's already damaged. Nice Hurricane Rana there. Phoenix just totally dominating Ivan Steele right now. If Ivan wants any chance of winning this matchup, he's gonna have to pull out all of his physical strength and mental strength to get the victory. Oh man, Phoenix dumps him right on his head. And not going for the pin. He's cranking him up though. Look at that, twisting him all up. Trying to choke him out. Kicks him away. Phoenix working that injured arm. Or injured shoulder I should say. And another kick to those ribs. Oh, oh, here comes Ivan Steele coming back. Little flurry, tossing him into the corner now. Oh boy, sitting him down. What's this? The crowd knows what it is. Boot to the face. Boot to the face of Phoenix. Standing moonsault. That's a great move right there. Here we go. 
into a Hurricane Rana, dropping Phoenix down, and the crowd is fired up, folks. Ivan Steele doing what he can to win this matchup. Tossing Phoenix into the corner. Uh-oh. Oh, and knees to the face. Big drop kick right to the chest, and he is pumped. Big forearm now, right across the chest, and he's gonna go for it one more time, folks. Big boot right across the face of Phoenix. Damn near kicking his nose clean off the front of his face. Uh-oh, Phoenix with a boot to the chest. Oh, bringing him back, tossing him over the ropes. Oh, spearing him down to the outside. Just as Ivan Steele was getting his, his mojo back, if you want to call it that, Steele. I'm sorry, Phoenix interrupts it and wraps a chair right across those ribs. Oh, man. Ref checking on Steele. Steele looks out of it, folks. Phoenix bringing Steele back in. Elbow right across the throat and a boot to the face. Crowd cheering on for Steele here. Oh no. Oh no. Right on that chair. Oh my gosh. Phoenix just dropped Steele right on that chair. What's happening? Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Oh. Oh no. Not a second time right onto that chair. Oh my gosh. Steele is out of it. He has got to be done. And he's bleeding, folks. That's it. As Tank Sr. continues watching Season 3 recap matches and segments, Tank Jr. follows up with auto hack plans. Using the stolen auto band, he was able to gain access into Amy's Terradome history for each and every superstar. He found that Noah Cage had been kidnapped by an elite group of auto employees known as the Constructors. This group was led by a man named John Moon. Noah Cage had been tortured and relocated to several auto facilities. His last known appearance, logged by the constructors, was in New Mexico. The only issue that Tank Jr. had was finding someone who could lead him close to Noah Cage. Through further hacking, he surely came upon documents that listed Snatchers, who had worked for constructors. On that list of Snatchers was Desmond Ellington. Tank Jr. now had his lead to find Noah Cage. Ya es hora para nuestro evento principal Y con quien más, pero con nuestra superestrella Iracundo Y ahora, 
tenemos un nuevo competidor. Él es de un lugar muy distante, reinando de Nueva York. Tú, te, ta. Gentlemen, it is Chet Curtis. We are here at Lucha Extrema. Since the commentary team is in Spanish, of course, I will be your English translator. Big elbow to the face by Tank. And another one here to Wrath. We are in New Mexico watching this matchup. Tank Jr. taking on Wrath. Look at this. Tank really putting it on. Wrath here, big chops to the chest and Wrath snatches him, pushes him away and he, big punch to Tank, knocking him down. So I'm wondering why Tank is here in New Mexico after after interfering in Terror Dome just two days ago. I'm not sure, we will have to, hopefully we'll figure that out, we'll get some answers. Tank into the corner, Wrath picking him up high. Dropping him face first onto that ring post and then locking in a sleeper hold. Why are you here? I need to find Noah Cage. You know where he's at, right? If thou find a salvation from Noah, then thou surely will lose faith in wrath. Salvation? You speak like Noah. I am the wrathful one. I am my own entity. He is really working that sleeper hold. Tank may have to give up here. No, no, oh no, what a nice chin breaker there by Tank. He's gonna send Wrath into the corner now. Big chop hurt all the way. Oh my gosh, all the way to Texas, I'm sure. Into the other side of the corner. Tank, here comes Tank. Oh my goodness. He is really laying those chops down across the chest of Wrath. And again, from one side of the ring to the other. What's Tank doing here? Grabs Wrath, tosses him outside the ring. Off the second rope, big drop kick. Sending the Lucha Libre out to the mat. Oh, he follows it up with a huge body splash right out there on the outside. Tank spreading the arms now of Wrath, working that submission really, really deep. Come on. Don't make me have to whip the cool off in front of your people. I need to find more kids. It's important. My father's, for my father's sake. The one who birthed power? He's alive? Yes. I just need to find more kids. I know where he's at. He's somewhere in New Mexico, here. And even if the light is near, why should I reveal it to the darkness? Darkness? What darkness? Because of you, darkness has shrouded the power organization. Extinction has been wrongfully judged. Wrath now standing up. Tank grabbing him by the head, tossing him into the ring. Here comes Tank now. What? Oh, Wrath's getting up. Tank grabs him by the arm and throws him hard into the turnbuckle. Follows it up with punch after punch and a nice chop. And, oh, big kick to the stomach. And a third time. Bouncing off the ropes. 
Drop kick right to the face of Wrath. Tank rolling him over, going for the pin. One, two, and a two count, wow. Wrath just took a beating at the hands of Tank and still managed to kick out. Another chop across the chest. Here comes Wrath, he's coming back. Big clothesline there, nice. Discus clothesline, following up all those punches. Wrath might have the upper hand here from behind. Picking him up, big slam right onto his back. And now look at Wrath. He looks like he's gonna strap in. He's pulling that head of Tank way, way back. Tank might have to give up and tap out right here, folks. I get it, I get it. I'm sorry, Desmond. I messed up. <laughs> Your fall's repentance shall be paid with wrathful judgment. I just can't take back what I've done. I can only fix things. Please, help me find Noah Cage. He is cranking away, and it looks like Tank's gonna get out of it. Big slam. My gosh. He's going for the pin. And just a two count. Folks, if you wanna talk about this matchup on social media, use the hashtag LuchaX. And a pin. No, and just a two count. Follow us up on social media about Tank and Wrath as Tank goes for another pin with the bridge and Noah, just another two count. Hashtag Lucha X. Wrath sending Tank into the corner. Oh boy, this can't be good for Tank. Oh, he misses and Tank hits him with a clothesline. My goodness. Tank down for the pin, just a two count. As Wrath kicks out, what a move by Tank. Able to dodge that, that corner body splash. He's got him by the arm, flipping him over now. Big knees right to the arm of Wrath. And another kick to the elbow. Oh boy, kick to the stomach. Tank is not happy with Wrath. Wrath hits him low blow. Oh, what's he winding him up here for? And a kick to the stomach. He's got a chokehold on Tank. And he lets it go. Wrath, the much bigger man, might have the advantage over Tank here. Picking him up high again. Right down on his face. We shall meet again at dusk in the mountains. There shall you see the light in which you seek for salvation. <laughs> what a move by Wrath. And that's it. He's done with, ladies and gentlemen.